We begin with breaking news on the Ontario College strike. Rejected a special meeting with the Premier. Talks resume. And then this. There are many developing angles to this story. We go straight to Queen's Park and our Paul Bliss with the latest. Paul. Zoraida Ken, a dramatic late day developments that impact students. The Ontario government under Kathleen Wynne with her majority are tabling back to work legislation. If they get their way, which they should, students should be back in the classroom by Monday. Now there's some drama that just happened in the House. The NDP are opposing this back to work legislation, which could delay it by days. But let's tell you what the Premier said just a short time ago in a statement. She says, we are immediately tabling legislation that would end the dispute and return Ontario College students to the classroom where they belong. Under the proposed legislation that we are introducing today, all outstanding issues would be referred to binding media mediation arbitration. We urge both opposition parties to unanimously support our legislation so that students and faculty can return to the class on Monday morning. However, as I mentioned, the NDP are opposing this out of principle. That could lead to three or four days of debate. Here's what happened today in this dramatic and quickly developing story. When news broke that the union had voted no, the Premier called the two sides to a meeting at Queen's Park. She personally intervened. And I'll just say that the Premier was uh, very instructive and uh, very helpful. And... Uh, They've uh, actually had rooms arranged for the parties to uh, attempt to negotiate an agreement, a mediator on site, ready to go. We are looking at all of our options, but I am hopeful that an agreement to return students to class immediately can be reached by the parties. Back to work legislation is a last resort. But with the strike now into week five, the Minister of Colleges and Universities admits we are approaching a time where students may start losing the semester. Clearly this process has failed the students and uh, the, the, the two parties have put students through a tremendous amount of hardship. The back to work legislation could put students in class a day after it passes, but the NDP suggests they will oppose it and that could stretch it out three or four days for debate. The Premier should have been bringing these parties together five weeks ago uh, to avoid all of this mess. The NDP leader has a conspiracy theory. She thinks the Premier wanted this outcome all along so she could look like a hero. So we went from bad news early in the day when the union said they voted no to optimism when the Premier called the two sides together. But late today, the Premier says all sides agreed to attempt to find a resolution by 5 o'clock today. Unfortunately, she says we have heard from the parties that they have reached an impasse in negotiations and that they have not agreed to binding arbitration. So quickly, the process now is the Liberals have a majority so they can pass back-to-work legislation. But again, as I mentioned, it may take three or four days, depending on the opposition and the length of debate. Live in Queen's Park with the latest. I'm Paul Bliss. We'll send it back to you. Thank you, Paul. And now let's go to CTV's John Musselman. He is at Humber College with what the union, faculty, and students are saying. John, why don't you start with what union president Smokey Thomas just told us. Well, Ken, we're at Humber here in Rexdale, and news is just trickling out about uh, this uh, new development here at Queen's Park. But today, uh, many people on the line were hoping this could be a negotiated settlement. But as we just learned, that's not going to happen. On the picket line at Humber College, faculty members were bundled up against the wind and cold. They've been out here for more than four weeks, and today the union membership voted 86% against the last contract offer. This is exactly what we had expected. Uh, this was an unnecessary vote. They uh, could have been taken back in September and they could have avoided the strike entirely and instead they, they chose to drag it on for an extra two weeks. It was a vote directed by the Labour Relations Board at the request of the College Employer Council. It wanted faculty members to vote on the deal directly. The result was an overwhelming no. Well, I'm uh, mixed feelings, mixed feelings. I'm glad uh, the faculty have uh, rejected it because it was a really bad offer. We don't want to be striking. It's not good for anyone, but I think the faculty has given a loud uh, message. More than 500,000 students have been shut out of class since October the 16th. They are frustrated and worried about losing their academic year. I think students are really, really disappointed right now. I think in their heart they had a bit of hope to, to hope the faculties just gave in. Just like the just get to a deal and just so me and every other student can get back to work. 
After the contract was rejected, the college employer council released this statement. This is a terrible result for 500,000 students who remain out of class. I completely sympathize with our students who have been caught in this strike for more than four weeks. So the update for students, as Paul mentioned, is that they will be going back to classes here no matter what happened between uh, the union and the college employer council. Students can now rest assured that uh, their academic year will likely be saved. Reporting live outside Humber, I'm John Musselman. I'll send it back to you. We return now to breaking news on the Ontario College strike. CTV's Paul Bliss joins us again from Queen's Park, where there will be back-to-work legislation at some point, Paul. That's correct, Zoraida. The government attempted to table it today in the legislature at about 5.55 p.m., but they needed unanimous consent. The NDP rejected it on principle. Andrea Horvath, the leader, told us earlier today that her party supports the rights of workers to have a negotiated settlement, so they, in principle, do not back and support back-to-work legislation. That means it's going to take days longer to pass this law that would force the teachers back to the classroom in the colleges. So 500,000 students, 12,000 teachers will remain out for a few more days. Let's listen to the Deputy Premier explaining to me just a short time ago how this is going to play out for students who will be watching this closely. So we wanted to introduce back to work legislation this evening, a few minutes ago. The NDP would not give us permission to do that. So um, we are now calling the legislature back tomorrow, Friday, which we don't normally sit, and we will introduce legislation tomorrow, and we could uh, get that legislation passed tomorrow with the cooperation of the other parties so that students will be in the classroom on Monday. That is our absolute driving goal. The rules of the legislature are such that the NDP can block, they can refuse unanimous consent as they did tonight. So the last time the Liberal government tried to pass back-to-work legislation and the NDP opposed it, it triggered three or four days of debate. So yes, tomorrow, if the NDP voted with this and there was unanimous consent, the students could be back in class on Monday. The government does plan to sit over the weekend Saturday and then come back Monday. So if the NDP opposed this, we're looking at maybe Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of next week, uh, getting the schools to reopen. Uh, otherwise, it's, uh, it's going to take some time now uh, because the NDP in principle say they're not going to support it. So that's the latest just came down a couple minutes ago from Queen's Park. Ken Zorano. And here's the latest on our top story. The province intending to legislate college faculty back to work after a five-week-long strike. We could uh, get that legislation passed tomorrow with the cooperation of the other parties so that students will be in the classroom on Monday. That is our absolute driving goal. But with the NDP blocking the legislation, it may now be a little longer before the strike is over.